from New Zealanders, and I have no hesitation in supporting the bill. Thank you. The Honourable David Cunliffe. Uh, Mr Speaker, it gives me great pleasure to uh, rise to take uh, this call on the National Animal Identification and Tracing Bill, noting that the MP for Wellington Central, Grant Robertson, previously took a call from the Labor side to underscore that our support for this bill reflects our caucus position right around the country. So as the member for New Lynn in West Auckland, can I say that I'm delighted to be able to support it too, uh, for a number of great reasons, including we have plenty of animals in West Auckland to trace. Just watch Outrageous Fortune and you'll know what I mean. Um, now, we did challenge earlier the member for Auckland Central to take a call on behalf of the National Party, and we've yet to hear from her. We assume that uh, national members in the inner city are similarly committed to this bill, but we'd love to hear from, from her too. Um, it's a few years ago now that I visited the uh, AgriSearch uh, institution at Rakura and was able to see some of the early uh, development of this uh, project then based on the application of RFID tags to livestock uh, around 2004 when the then Labor government uh, first seriously kicked this off with AgriSearch and it's a delight to see this now maturing to the point that we're passing legislation on a multi-partisan basis today in the House. And there's a number of really good reasons why we support it. And I couldn't agree more strongly with the previous speaker, Mr Hayes, who said because we all want to see the boat go faster. We all want to raise New Zealand's standards of living and we want to see our primary sector in particular increase in productivity and value. So it delivers that because of quality assurance, because of pest and disease management, because of a brand premium and because of the basis for further innovation in future. Sorry to interrupt the honourable member. The time has come for me to leave the chair. This debate is interrupted and set down for resumption next sitting day. The House stands adjourned until 2pm tomorrow. <laughs>